Hi everyone, um, I'm back again. As promised um, from my previous video that I will discuss how I survived the coronavirus. Um, I got sick towards the end of um, March. I believe it was March 28th, um, which was a Friday, my last day of work. Um, Saturday morning, um, I did uh, run a couple of errands. Um, although I was feeling something, but I wasn't sure what it was. I thought maybe I was just coming down with something, not, not a big deal. Uh, maybe I was just tired, you know, when sometimes you're just not sure. So I went on about my day. Um, and then towards Saturday afternoon into the evening. And that's when I started feeling like, hmm, I'm done with something. But I didn't really think that I had the COVID-19. Um, I've never gotten the flu in my life. I've never gotten a shot. I mean, if I do get a cold, it's very rare that I, you know, so it's like, I was kind of surprised that it just hit me, um, you know, given the fact that, yes, we are dealing with the coronavirus and, you know, you try to follow the guidelines, how to protect yourself, wearing your, um, you know, PPE, wearing your mask and everything. I do work in a lab, so I know um, how to protect yourself and also wear the proper PPE. So I never in a million years think that I would get this. Um, so anyway, Sunday, Saturday night into Sunday morning, um, I developed a fever. It started out as a hundred and then Sunday, it went up to 101, 102, because I was checking my fevers throughout the day. Uh, it went up to 103. And then, so Monday morning, I called my doctor and I said, I think I have the virus. And my doctor asked me my symptoms. Um, by this time, I already lost my sense of smell and my taste. And I mean, usually a normal flu doesn't do that. Or if you had a cold, you wouldn't do, you know, you wouldn't lose your sense of smell or taste. So that was like the big factor that I could have the, the virus. And so my doctor said, come down. And, but I was swabbed outside. I wasn't allowed to come in because I was um, showing symptoms. So, and I was swabbed Monday morning and then I didn't get my results. I think it was Thursday, either Thursday or Friday, I don't remember. But during this time, I was already like full blown sick as a dog. Um, it was, I started to have labored breathing, like going, just getting up and going to the bathroom or i already quarantined myself from my husband and my daughter um and so i could think that i have my own bathroom so they're not allowed to use my bathroom i was on my own i mean even though my husband does help me you know sometimes bring me some soup or something hot to drink but i was basically on my own um, because I don't want him to, I don't know how this virus be behaves and I don't want to risk my family, uh, getting it. So I was basically on my own. I have no medication. Uh, the doctor only prescribed the antibiotic and, you know, which it didn't help anything. I was, uh, constant headache, body aches. Um, I do have diabetes, I'm diabetic and I also have Hashimoto thyroiditis which, you know, I was pretty much um, prone to uh, getting it, unfortunately. And aside from, when you have uh, Hashimoto, you deal with a lot of joint pains. It basically tripled the pain. Um, you, you, it's just like you're just so, you, you feel like you just got ran over by a bus. Um, just walking from 
your I was actually sleeping in the recliner because it felt better on my back uh, sleeping on the recliner just getting up going to the bathroom it's like I ran a marathon so and even just taking a shower it's like I come out of there like you know gasping for air like just having a hard time breathing so I was just doing a lot of research and just trying to do a lot of uh, homeopathic um, research and how to you know uh, help uh, exercise your lungs I was doing a lot of lung exercises you know just holding my breath deep in and uh, breathe in breathe out holding your breath in just trying to you know help your lungs not get so inflamed um, and I had a really bad congestion um, up to this day it's already May mid-May and I'm still having a little bit of residual of the sinus um, a little bit of my I, I, I think I have my taste fully uh, uh, came back fully I'm not you know but sometimes my smell comes and goes so I'm about I would say 90% better but for the most part um, for the most part I'm better I'm moving um, you know so but I still do get like uh, get tired easily depending on what I do but you know I'm grateful that I'm alive and I'm grateful that I didn't have to um, be uh, confined in the hospital that was the last thing that I would ever want to do is be confined I'm all I'm so afraid that once I walk in that hospital I'm never walking I'm never coming back um, so that's that I mean it's mid-May I got sick um, I would say April 1st when I got swabbed and it's mid-May and I'm 90% better I would say and I'm just grateful that you know my family didn't get it my husband didn't get it my daughter oh, thank God she didn't get it um, so but I'm still you know I just feel bad for those people that you know that that were confined in hospital and have to rely on vent, you know, oxygen and you know being intubated. That's so sad. I mean, the way it, this is like, like I said, you know, like everybody's saying, is unprecedented situation where, you know, you don't know, you don't know how you get it, you don't know. It, it's just, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of controversial, um, you know, regarding this virus, but. It's just like it's taking so much um, out of people. It it put it placed people in fear. They're basically living in fear, you know. And right now I'm in my backyard, just getting some fresh air, you know, which is wonderful. And it's um it's amazing how you know you pull through but then you know what it's just like you know you don't know am i gonna get it again am i still prone to getting this virus again there's never that certainty that you know that you're given because nobody knows so so right now i'm just taking it one day at a time you know enjoying my time at home um with my family and i just wish you guys um, the best and stay healthy take care of yourself and you know um, yeah so I'm just glad that I'm alive and I'm able to spend my more time with my family so again you know um, if you like this video please give it a like and also subscribe um, if you don't mind just to support my channel and all right so till next time take care everyone Bye-bye.